Hello and welcome, I'm Maroomba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Europa Universalis 4 campaign as Japan. Just waiting on sieges right now. Speed 4, I guess. The war exhaustion is real. Not as bad as it was before, though. We got pretty high. Oh, we should probably take that back, huh? Got our claims prepared for Aino. Already won that siege. We get to kill a navy. We're gonna have to be prepared to deal with this thing. They are getting not close, but closer to enforcing their demands. Come on, give me my capital back, please. A mom for our son. The time has come for your son to adopt a personal mon. A mon, not mom. To distinguish him from other young princes and daimyos in waiting. Your wife has suggested a clear design depicting a lotus flower. But the... But the another daimyo... <laughs> a hinted today that he thinks that a leaf design would be would suit the boy well. I will decide my own son's mon. Army tradition's always nice. We are... I think we want the most monarch points. What are kind of what, whatever kind of monarch points they are, we just want them, all of them, all of the monarch points. Okay, we have twenty nine. We just got expelled from Japan, of course. We have twenty nine war score. Uh, are we allowed to separate peace? No, we can't. Of course not. They're vassals. Oh, so Kawa gains independence. I don't think we want that. I think we want to full annex Japan. And I think maybe that makes us the Emperor? I, I don't really know. So doing this grants us independence. And we only have 54 war score. Looks like I'm gonna have to cause some, do some other stuff here. Oh, let's just consolidate. We want again with the Mercs. We've got 10 troops to engage. Send over 12. Plus the leader. Both of them. Nope. This one can't avoid the river. Okay, so we do that. One day. Over the calf. I want a second calf. I really do need it. Get that back. Okay, so what's it going to take for me to get enough war score here? Problem is, there's so many capitals out there. They're all disloyal. They don't want to help. This guy does now. Okay. Let's kill him then. I don't believe. Are we getting a ticking war score? We are. Okay, that helps out. 90 war score. That's. Probably why the AI kept doing stupid peace deals is that they just don't know how to get enough war score for it. I think we continue to stack wipe armies if at all possible. Defensive terrain, 12 stack. Japan is being pesky now. We have no manpower. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hire one more Merc. Two more, in fact. These guys cleared out. Two more war score. There goes the Diet held and the Granted General modifier. Can't grant a generalship. February of next year. Okay, so there's apparently a small waiting period. Getting these two provinces back, or dealing with the rebels. We're gonna have more rebels again soon. Let's 
Let's hope that these guys are still disloyal and they're not going to actually cause any issues while I get back the occupations here. Then we'll go kill Date. It's so stupid how they just sit there and they're like, Well, I'm, we don't want to help, so we're just going to sit here and we're not going to do anything. You need more influence, huh? Well, I guess we call a diet. We ended up with a... A one three three one. Excellent. That's a very good general. Okay, we've got this province over here we can occupy. We need to go up there and occupy that. Ming is giving us lots of money. Awesome. That's a lot of money. They are subsidizing us tremendously. Whoa, you're suddenly loyal? Or is it because I'm attacking in your territory? It's because I'm in your territory. Great. We just rolled horribly. Let's get out of here. He's just defending himself. He's not actually trying to help Japan. Okay, I think we ignore that guy then. And instead we go after these two provinces over here. Is Japan still being kind of irritating? I'm not willing to say yes yet. Let's get some blockades established. There's nine sh nine ships out there. War exhaustion is dangerously high. 5.43 war exhaustion. That is unfortunate. We have 75 war score. We are ticking our way up. I think we're going to probably see him peace out pretty soon. There's no other provinces that I can ask for because they're all too much war score. Gain legitimacy or prestige? Probably the prestige. Morale of armies is good. Legitimacy is fine. We don't really care too much about diplomatic reputation right now. We are pretty far in debt. Just, you know, 700 ducats. Hey, you know what? Independence comes at a cost. Still gotta pay for those level 1 advisors. They're too important. And hopefully Japan has some ducats. We take your ducats as well. 33 whole ducats. He's at negative 11 reasons, so... We're almost there. If either of these fall. Good, good. Yeah, we got it. Okay, grant independence. No, no, no. Okay, so that's it. Maybe I have to grant independence, and then I'm allowed to ask for land. Curious. Everything is free. I think we want to full annex Japan. Yeah, I think that is the peace deal that I want, but it's so weird. Okay, uh, pause the game. Thank you. The Ashikaga Shogunate has fallen. Katsumoto Hosokawa was utterly defeated, has utterly defeated the Shogun, and will crown his brilliant campaign by having the Emperor name him the new Shogun. Becoming the hereditary military dictator of Japan. Only time will tell whether the Hokusawa Shogunate will be more successful than its predecessor. And when it comes to the task of solidifying the warring clans, we will prevail. Diplomatic relations slots plus four. We change to Japan now. Gain new traditions and ambitions. Kyoto will become the new capital. Okay. Uh, before we click that button then. Uh, Kyoto will become the new capital, it says. So, we should raise autonomy here. Because if it's our new capital, it's going to automatically lower autonomy. We have some unrest in this province, but... Can't really do anything with that. We gained two forts. We have vassals with strong liberty desire. Government type changes to Shogunate instead of Daimyo. So we're going to lose morale of armies and infantry combat ability. Let's see what we gain. We now have... Diplomatic relations plus four. An extra diplomat. An extra plus five states. National years of cool, cooldown focus. Cool. 
So we lost the uh, infantry combat ability though, but by becoming Japan, we now have discipline plus 10%, where before. So we, we traded 10% infantry combat ability for 10% discipline. And we still have the discipline advisor, so we actually have 15% discipline now, which is pretty damn good, if you ask me. Too many diplomatic relations. Uh, I don't think that's true. I think we actually have 5 out of 8, excuse me, game. So we are now Japan. Fine. Whatever. And, uh, are we allowed to attack our vassals? <laughs> no? Why not? Uh, are we allowed to integrate them? I think we can. It's not possible to offer this before 68, so in two years. So we basically just now need to improve relations with all the guys that we've, you know, killed. Okay, fine, let's do that. Yep, and our capital is going to, at the beginning of next month, immediately have autonomy down to zero. Ming canceled their subsidies. Shinto. Extra morale of armies. Wow, we have a lot of morale of armies stuff. Alright, we've gained force limit. Our income is kind of okay. We've got to pay some loans back. we got to lower maintenance. we got to turn off our forts because we can't afford them. We've got to delete them, in fact, I think, because of stupid island forts. How much development do we have? 189, so we're not even close to being able to get what we need out of this. I think we just delete them. Forts are stupid. I don't like forts. Interest is very high. We're gaining money. Now we have a whole bunch of vassals doing stuff. Peasants are ticking down. Recent uprising is helping out here. If we can get our war exhaustion down, we'll have no more issues. Unite Japan. is not a subject nation. Japan is not a nomad nation. At peace, number of cities at least 15. The type of government changes to feudal monarchy. National manpower modifier 10%, income from vassals 25%, diplomats plus 1, states, number of states plus 5. I think that that's, okay, so we're just going to stop being a shogunate and start being a feudal monarchy. Every subject daimyo of Japan will become independent. We lose all cores on provinces owned by our daimyos. Every daimyo subject of Japan becomes a feudal monarchy. So this would allow us to attack them again. But we have a 15 year truce with these guys. All countries do not have government daimyo. Okay. Hmm. No, I think we just integrate them. Right? Every subject daimyo will become independent, but if we integrate them, then there are none. If we wanted to attack them, we click this button. I don't want to attack them because of the truce. Therefore, we don't do it. Therefore, instead, we go and we attack this guy. Yes, I like this idea better. Are we getting corruption from unbalanced tech? I want to avoid that. I think we need to force ourselves to take admin tech just to guarantee we don't end up with that corruption modifier. Uh, let's get our maintenance back up because we're going to immediately go back to war because why wouldn't we? We have no cores. Did we immediately... Okay, because we became Japan, we didn't even have to pay for those cores. That's awesome. And we have more states available, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. There's, like, no reason not to. I've spent all of my admin points. Making these into full-on cores would be a good idea, but probably not until we have our war exhaustion down. No royal marriage is allowed. We're still over the leader limit, which is unfortunate. We could fire the worst guy. I hired one, if I remember correctly. And we'll get rid of him. Okay. Our navy is here. Evan points? Yes. Our army is well reinforced. I need a diplomat. Until that's dead, now we can cross. We have six, so we need eight in the front row. Eight infantry, that is. Let's do it this way.
So these guys are all going to come to here. For now, this cav can actually march with these guys. We've got grasslands, which is good. Let's go that way, hold back the cav for a day. Go and engage. Instant wipe, good stuff. Don't have to worry about the straight anymore. Let's go blockade. And also, because we declared war, I think our vassals actually joined the war, didn't they? Not that it really matters. We still have too many leaders. Wow. I thought it was only one over the limit, but nope. Alright, it's a good situation to be in. We're almost fully Japan. It's taken 20-some years already, so that's unfortunate. And I think most of that's because of the stupid truce timers. Because the game is like, you know, making me sit in truce because the AI is too stupid to full annex Japan. Like, they don't know how to play the game. We should probably go back to improving relations with our vassals. Who's the closest that we can integrate? We've got five daimyo. Uh, date we're improving with right now. We're not improving. Yes, we are improving with you right now. I really wish you could see how much development these guys have. Without having to go to the damn ledger. Like, there should just be a development category. I think it's safe to assume that the guy that's paying us the most probably has the most development. So let's try to integrate him first. Probably going to try to integrate three at once. And then maybe we will let the other ones become independent and then we attack them. That would work pretty well. I think. We will take the tech. I wonder if we're going to end up westernizing this campaign. I think it's Chinese tech group. It probably does make sense. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to fight this navy, see if we capture any ships. We did gain a transport. Cool. Need some money to help pay off our debt. Start with lowest cost first. There's other province, provincial corps done. Get you protecting trade in our capital node now. Income's positive. We can repay a couple loans. Let's do that. Let's go down to no maintenance. No real isca, risk of rebellion right now. Seems like the land that I conquered... Uh, I guess we had recent rebellions almost everywhere, didn't we? We had three of them. Hmm. You know what? I think I can actually get by with one general. I'm gonna hire... I'm gonna fire this guy. Unfortunately. Fortunately for him. Okay, positive stability helps out. Rooting out corruption helps as well. We are still slightly overextended. We don't really care what the Shoguns are doing, or the other guys, whatever they're called, the, uh, the Daimyos. Ming's declared a war. Have these guys done anything interesting? I like how you can do this while you're playing. Right? Like, while you're playing, even in an Iron Man, you can just see, like... Ming hasn't really done much of anything. In the last while. That is really useful. I think it could be even more useful in multiplayer. Does it even work in multiplayer, I wonder? Uh, yeah, we'll take the administrative points. Right, let's just finish our last core. Right, and the autonomy map mode. So a lot of this land has fairly high autonomy. The unrest is currently very, very negative. I think we want to probably lower autonomy. Let's sort by highest to lowest. Find provinces that have... 
At least, I mean, if it's over 40, I definitely want to lower it. Even at 30, I think we want to do it. Get this country stabilized a bit. It'll take a while, probably 30, 40 years, before we actually get everything down to 0%, but... I believe we have everything as part of a state. We have 15 states allowed, we have 7, there's one territory. Territory of Hokkaido, which is probably up here. Yeah, Hokkaido. So now we need to start expanding up this way before Ming can eat it all. Like, we need to attack Yeren, for sure. Let's start building a spine network on him. We're going to need more transports. We have eight force limit available. We've got a few. Uh, we just train some transports. As much money as we have. I do need to pay off this debt, though. 400 ducats in debt. Blech. It happens. Okay, alright. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.